Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build. Still working on the octuple uh, gun party mixer canoe, and I'm starting to regret uh, recording this the entire building of this thing uh, because, as it turns out, uh, well, it has been a while since the last one of these went up, and as it turns out, uh, you can't. Uh, like, just chuck too many let's builds up at a time. Uh, particularly for a whole craft. Because, well, mostly it just didn't feel right. You've got to space out the content a little bit. People get bored of the same thing too often. And, yeah. It was like, jeez, like... Pre-recording stuff, you get a lot of stuff. Uh, you get a lot of stuff just to get through. Uh, there's um still two or more of these uh, to come. Like, I still... I'm committed all the way through to uh, creating the um, like the full show so to speak of building this thing uh, might help some people might entertain some people and mostly it'll be just me chucking the whole thing up there and being like yeah that's cool so yeah like um, it's in fact getting hard for me to remember because it's been so it's been a while since I even looked at this um, what I've like what I've has been seen and what hasn't so this is part four I believe we're on and Yeah, well, we should probably talk about what's happening on stream not on stream bleh on screen to be fair Those two things start with the same letters. You can see why I got confused uh, stacking these injector engines like this uh, Vertically like this. I don't usually do this with well any kind of engine but in this case, it seemed to make sense because this is actually quite a tall canoe and uh, making maximum effective use of the space is just stacking a whole bunch of engines. And I'm erring on the side of having a lot of them because, uh, as it turns out, I was planning for this thing to have uh, a lambs and big, uh, big hungry propellers. And uh, that's basically it, really. Like, a good lambs takes a lot of power. And I just like using injector engines. Um, because they're very straightforward, they're very easy, and um, honestly, I should get, start getting back into uh, carburetor engines again, and I should definitely should start getting into f uh, steam engines more than I have been. I've made progress, but not much, uh, because uh, injectors are kind of material inefficient. They do uh, eat your money quite a bit. But I really do like this particular prefab, which I call the Cube Terry, because it is exactly 3x3x3, three by three by three, and it's just very modular. It's uh, easy to jam uh, into all kinds of places. This, um, if I didn't have this prefab, uh, making this particular arrangement would take hours. So yeah, like I love, I love this thing a lot, and... Um, Oh boy, and yeah, there's a bit of finagling around in uh, with here, like, I think I changed my mind multiple times. Yeah, I don't remember this at all, it has been a long time since I've recorded this. I might, in fact, have gotten slightly smarter at the game. My goodness, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be astonishing? Yeah, and I'm trying to remember, it was either this build or another build I did. Uh, some time ago, in which I kind of bollocked up the exhausts, and um, I had to go back and fix it. I don't remember if it was this one. It might have been, because uh, this isn't actually the first time I've stacked uh, cube terries like this. I have actually um, done it before, and the looks of it... Okay. Okay. I think we might be... Nope, and see, here's the problem. You, uh, Not every prefab is a good fit. Um, come on, passport wise, you can figure it out. You can figure it out. Don't be, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Yeah, you can. I don't remember what I was thinking uh, just now, but it was definitely along the lines of, oh no, I'm good. Because I didn't want the exhaust to pop out um, in the same area as those slopes underneath it. And honestly, I should have just done that. I've done that in craft since. But, for some reason, I didn't want to do that. I wanted things to be sleek and efficient and stuff. And think, I think I, yeah. Just fiddling around with the... With what can I get away with deleting. And as it turns out, I could, in fact, uh, get away with deleting uh, that heavy armor uh, beam set right there. 
now I can't see what's happening, so I can only imagine how you feel. This is my second time living through this. <laughs> oh, boy. And there's an injector. There's another injector, and that's a problem. So I don't remember what I do here. I think I just, uh, say, bugger it, and I move some engines over. Yeah. Interesting. Pass waterways, what are you doing? For those of you who really know how to make fuel engines, I apologize for the level of, um... I guess cringe and headbanging that this must be inducing. Like I said, ever since the big uh, fuel engine overhaul, like changing the efficiency of like fuel engines in general, I haven't kept up with uh, what is actually a good idea. And also, um, well, here here's the point where I say bugger it. Uh, we need to move things over a little bit. And um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I've just gone back to uh, bad old habits involving injector engines. Ever since then. Sad to say. Sad to say. So I think... What What are you doing, Passport Was What are you doing, Passport? Oh, that's what I did. I just r rotated them. I just rotated them a little bit. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, I gotta give Pass Me slightly more credit. That's somewhat clever. Or is it? I don't remember if this was clever or not. Goodness me. Ah, that's what I did. Oh, man. Nope. That's not what I did. What did I do? What did you do? With that BA in English? Nothing. This is just me rotating this freaking engine uh, prefab around, trying to get it in a... Oh, yeah, that works. Uh, there is deliberately too much fuel uh, in included in the prefab because you can always remove it if it's too much or replace it with just material storage Which is pretty much always helpful So yeah, that's the interesting Very interesting She's there, I'm just pulling my lip to pieces as I'm doing it Ah, that's what your plan was You semi-clever person Look at you Look at you Mm-hmm Exhausts are a science unto themselves in front of the lips. Actually, apropos of nothing, that reminds me of just how... I know, hindsight is 2020 with all things. I've been watching an awful lot of, um... Actually, not recently, but for a time, I was watching an awful lot of, uh... uh basically history videos about tanks. And partially because, uh, I've been playing Sprocket. The last video I uploaded uh, was a Sprocket video, and it was actually, like, I got pretty salty uh, during the recording of that, but I was having fun. It was uh, fun to make that video. And fun to play the game, really. But yeah, like, uh, I've been watching a lot of vids on tanks uh, recently, because tanks are interesting pieces of engineering. Um, but yeah, First World uh, worst, no, 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 worst World War... Uh, that, that's the Second World War. The First World War, not the worst, the first. Um, the, nah, Second World War was probably sucked in a, many, many more ways. Um, I am not getting to the point very quickly. The First World War tanks had the engine in the same compartment as the crew, uh, which means that um, uh, those Mark I to Mark... I think Mark Seven tanks? Um... Uh, the land, the original land ships themselves that the Brits had. Um, yeah, you couldn't drive them for very long because otherwise you'd die of carbon monoxide poisoning. So, wacky engine shenanigans. It makes me feel better about the fact that I don't know how to engine uh, particularly well in From the Depths at all. Is because, um, you know, in real life they had to figure everything out the hard way as well. So yeah, this is a very much me... Just trying to work out how to freaking line up all these exhausts. Tremendously thrilling footage. And one of the... This is just me being stubborn. I really should... If I was to do this again, I would just move uh, the side engines to be more in line with each other. And it just... That would be so much easier. And that engine in the middle would just... Well... It would just... Um, it would just be by itself. It would have its own exhaust system. It, there's no point threading them... Uh, all together if it's an injector engine. Not really. Um, if it's a carburetor engine, then yes. Particularly a uh, 
In particular, a turbocharger engine. Um, you need to do fancy exhaust stuff in order to get maximum bang for your buck out of it, but, uh... My goodness, Pulse Waterwise, what are you up to? What are you up to, mate? What are you up to? Yeah, you can almost see the cogwheels turning in the past. And probably, like, I'm probably overdoing the exhaust as well. This is mainly redundancy, I think. Just so that uh, if this thing gets shot in the engines, uh, it isn't rendered completely hopeless immediately. That's the thought, anyway. That is the thought. Sometimes in From the Depths, it's just, it's the thought that counts, even if it doesn't work very well. It's really weird stuff, what's happening right now. Should be functional, though. In fact, it is functional. I do not recall having a significant engine trouble uh, with this thing. I think, yeah, this, uh, this engine compartment is definitely more complicated than it needs to be. If you're using injector engines, it's precisely so. It can just be, you know, simple. That's the main... Apart from the fact that uh, injector engines are very powerful for the amount of volume they take up, they are simple and straightforward. It's just, um, you have your cylinders, you have them touching the injectors, and have two, exhaust, uh, two exhausts per cylinder, roughly. And I just strolled straight past uh, some uh, exhausts that weren't pointing the right way. I hope, past me, you gotta, you gotta get on that. You gotta get on that. You missed it. Or did I? Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. You were looking right at it. What are you doing? No! <laughs> oh my freaking god. Come on, Fast Borderwise. If you're cheering at your screen right now, uh, hoping that Fast Borderwise realizes that mistake, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, jeez. We need an exhaust for your filter or something. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just giggling at myself now. Giggling at this, uh, at this man trying to make exhausts work. I hope I do fix that. It's gonna drive me crazy if I... If I don't fix that. Come on. This is almost like Borderwise reacts to old videos that, in fact, have not been uploaded yet, so... Oh boy, why'd you make this harder than it had to be? See, From the Depths is a complicated, difficult game, but sometimes the problem is behind the keyboard. It's just, um... The, like, uh... The way you play it makes it, you know, more complicated than it needs to be. Which makes it very complicated. Oh lordy. Ah, uh, dear. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I get to fix that. I don't think I end up fixing that. Oh no. Oh no. And this is the point where I'm just testing uh, the power and just see how well we do. Because uh, if you... That is a uh, decently clever trick to see if your engines work. Is um, you get to see if any cylinders are overheating if you put the engines under full load. Should really do a quick guide on that. So it's just... Yeah, let's see. So it's just, yeah, this is me literally checking the engines to see that... Um, all their temperatures are the same. Because, uh, it's handy to do that. So let's see, cylinders, and I think this is what's gonna help me spot that one. Or not. And these things aren't under full load, so maybe that didn't work so well. Yeah, individually checking engines. You can't just check all of them with the V menu, I believe. So yeah, there was actually no need for this. What did I just delete? Oh, that. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And just chuck in some material storage in there. 
uh, board wise um, you gotta check the numbers mate check the numbers you're not checking the numbers okay there I think checking the numbers you ought to look at the bottom one bottom one's gotta be more yeah he figured it out good lad good lad you figured it out Yep, you need even more, you need even more. You need even more. Come on, come on, use that. Use the border brain. I know you had it in your head on that day you made this. What are you doing? Okay, he's just replacing some stuff uh, with full meter beams. It's fascinating to watch footage of yourself playing a game um, from some time ago, because uh, because it's amazing, it's like, you really are a different person on a different day. Which is why social media is dangerous. You tweet something, or you post something on Facebook, uh, when you, you're in a particular mood. And then, um, two years later, it's still there, and then people find it, and then they roast you online. And send you death threats. Which is not very nice. Okay, so... Uh, past me has figured out that's all the uh, fuel storage you need, so it's just using material storage. And the reason for that is that fuel storage is expensive, and material storage is really cheap. And if you got excess space, you might as well fill it up with something useful. And I can put all this stuff right next to the APS turret, because it's got injectors, and that's fantastic. Oh boy. Yeah, so, uh, the end result, this uh, craft, by the way, if anyone's wondering, has been finished for ages. And um, I actually uh, tested it against the Stahlslag Mark II, which is my biggest favoritist battleship. Uh, made by me, at the very least. My biggest favoritist battleship that I've made. I remember how to communicate. So, yeah, and um, yeah, that video, I think I'll link that video in the description of this. Please bother me if I forget to do that. So, so yeah, this thing has been done. So this is very much making of. It's fascinating to me, if no one else, because, um, yeah, it's like, what, what, what did happen? How many of you watching this remember the exact process of building your craft? Because I must confess, I sometimes have trouble with that. I do remember quite vividly, I built some of my, uh, most, like, I'm not sure signature craft is the right word, but let's go with that. Uh, the Star Slime Mark II, I remember that uh, there were actually two versions of that. Uh, there was, um... I think I started with one hole and gave up on it and then made a slightly different one. And yeah, I remember building that from the bottom up and so I could see all the individual layers of armor and air gaps in it. So yeah, that was a heck of a ride. Was it the Stahlstang? Yeah, Mark II definitely had a design process to it. Yeah. And this thing also kind of had a design process to it. From the depths, and like, this is very much something uh, that I preach but I don't practice, is, um, like, it really does help to plan ahead and when you're building anything in From the Depths. Uh, because if you don't, then you run into trouble later. You need to think ahead of time what you want out of a thing. And I tend not to do that. I tend to just build and improvise as I go. Which kind of, um, I guess it kind of speeds up um, the whole building process, but it's at a cost. Uh, because the end result is not as optimized as it could have been. Not that I'm particularly bothered um, with optimization. What on earth is going on here? What? what? I legitimately do not remember what I'm up to here. Legitimately, do not remember what I am up to. Am I putting a jet in there? Oh my goodness, I am. All right, I think I know why I was doing this. This was something I learned in um, another uh, craft that I made uh, for my ongoing uh, campaign stream series. 
is that uh, this particular style of hull, uh, particularly if you put big azipods uh, at the front and back, uh, they do tend to pitch up in um, rough seas. And so that's why that pitch thruster is there, is just to, just to ensure that it doesn't uh, pop wheelies randomly. I completely forgot that I stuck that there. Like, honestly, like, if you told me that I'd stuck pitch control on this thing, I'd be like, what? And I'd have to go and check. My goodness, the things you learn from uh, archive footage. I guess this isn't technically archived. This is the first time you're seeing it, that's for sure. Unless you broke into my house and uh, hacked my computer and watched it, in which case... How dare you? And how would you be listening? How would you hear me if you'd already done that the first time? If this is the second time you're seeing this, how dare you? And this is the fast and uh, cheeky way to put compartments in your craft. I tend to do. Yeah, I don't really do. What's the term for it? Uh, yeah, 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 I do completely don't know the term for it, but like crossways uh, compartments, I tend to not compartmentalize uh, my uh, my craft very much at all, to be perfectly honest. Like, I tend to rely on the materials uh, themselves um, to provide buoyancy, and like, this is a... Uh... Alright, so this is the test driving part, I believe, is it? Is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's see. What are you up to? I think what past me is going to do is, uh, yep, that's it. He's going to lower down uh, where the azipods are. I freaking love azipods. Um, if you've like, I have azipods all over the place. They're fantastic. They really are a fantastic little tool because um, they're more power efficient. Uh, because it means that um, your forward thrust is also contributing to uh, your yaw. And um, that's basically it, really. Also, you can stack them to a ridiculous degree. Why? Okay, so... Oh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting it on sticks. And I don't actually remember if I persisted with the sticks. I might not have. And this is the fun part of the reinforced wood, is remembering which side is the woody side and which is the not woody side. Okay, there we have a pillar of sorts. And there, I realize that's probably... Do I stick with that? I have no idea. I really don't remember if I stick with this at all. Interesting. That shows just how much I'm paying attention to my own designs, which is not really that much. Uh, what are you up to, Borderwise? What are you up to, past Borderwise? Tell me your secrets. Tell me your secrets. Where is your rum? Where has the rum gone? And this is the point where I realize, oh, damn it, that doesn't line up nicely. I actually do, in a weird way, care about aesthetics a lot. Uh, in the process of building craft, I've realized. The, but the thing is, like, it's how the blocks line up rather than anything else. It's like if it slopes well. If it's like a continuous shape. Like, that isn't, like, broken, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so now that lines up nicely, and that looks less terrible. Yay! So now we prefab that, and we stick it on the front. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, the let's build drowsiness is kicking in. Just watching... You know what I should do? Dare I say? Is watch my own videos more. Because I consistently forget what the heck I've said in days gone by. Except I'm kind of scared to do that because um, I think YouTube can interpret uh, watching your own videos um, as kind of like they'll they'll nick your ad revenue um, if you do it too often. I don't know. It's just I've had a scare in the past where it's saying like, "Sorry, where you you don't get any ad revenue this month because uh, you clicked on your own ads." I'm like, "Wait, what? No, I didn't. What are you talking about?" 
So now I'm paranoid to watch my own stuff for any degree of length of time uh, because YouTube will be like, what's this? You're watching your own videos just to artificially ramp up the ad revenue? Sorry, and I'm like, no, I didn't do that. And at the time, I had no idea how to like get in contact with anybody to like ask like, hey, I, I didn't do that. You got the wrong guy. So yeah, it sucks. There is, uh, there's, um, more important things to complain about, though. Like the fact that, oh, fun fact, um, here in the, uh, beautiful Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, as of the time of recording, this is probably gonna date the video or something ridiculous, but we're in lockdown again because, uh, the dreaded Sniffles, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, uh, are people still calling it that? I think hardly anyone calls it that, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, a. Uh, New cases, and so we're all in lockdown, and so we're all getting inside, getting increasingly bored and insane. Could be a lot worse. And uh, I hurt myself uh, doing some exercises at home, just to try and keep the muscles functional, if nothing else. So now my shoulder hurts, so that's a little bit distracting at the moment. It's distracting me from the fact that this thing is driving, and driving quite nice. I freaking love Azipods, because you can just deadbolt them onto anything, and voila, they will go. Uh, super hungry engines, as you can probably tell by how fast the materials are, uh, ticking down. And so, yeah, I should really get in the habit of making more efficient engines. Really should. And what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Okay, so... This is... Yep, there it is. There's the shark poppers. And am I going to be clever? I'm trying to remember, I did clever things uh, with this. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Yep, that. Uh, not entirely symmetrical uh, shark boppers. Not sure why I did this. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. It's mainly so they don't get in each other's way. And so they can just spray loads of torpedoes um, when facing broadside. And now we need more GPP, PPPPP. More general purpose processing power. Yeah, with the new beta test stuff, when uh, I really need to um, make a version of this that's like all alloy or all metal, that would be pretty dope. That would be plenty dope. Just all reinforced wood is turns to metal and all uh, wood turns to alloy. Uh, not perfect. A long way from perfect, but just, yeah, an improvement on what it's made of right now. In particular, yeah, like alloy below the waterline. Probably not the best idea, but the hard way that uh, you don't want to put alloy on the sides of your craft because when it gets shot off, it messes with your craft's buoyancy and that's no good. Yeah, but this thing's uh, cruising right along, not super fast, 30 meters per second, just below. I do like how I've uh, decorated these azipods though. They look good, they make me happier just to look at them, which is a good sign. Happiness is good for you. So yeah, you can really tell just by looking at the hull of this, is that I do tend to build my craft from the middle uh, outward towards the ends, which is not, by the way, like uh, the best way to build. I don't think it's, there's anything particularly good or bad about it, it's just what I do. And the main reason I do that is because um, the pointiness of it is determined by how wide it is, and also it's... Um, Oh, am I we're gonna stick some torpedoes in here? Oh, that's how interesting. Uh, yeah, is he gonna... Actually, weird thought, just seeing simple weapons pop up on screen right now. Uh, simple torpedoes. Is that still an idea? That might be an idea. Simple torpedoes, simple rockets. I think somebody might mod that. Um, if uh, not, if it never gets put into the actual game. Yeah, uh, what can we talk about? I'm, tr I'm trying to remember now what's fun in beta test apart from the armor uh, block swapping, which is fantastic. If you haven't checked out the beta test of, oh, that's what I'm doing, I want to make this thing go faster. In which case I should just paint it red, hardy hardy hard. Yeah, I think uh, I might have my problems here. Here, really, you got to wonder what what is the point of steam props 
uh, considering that you can just do this. Oh boy. Yeah, I struggle even with just the easiest part of Steam Props. Maybe you could make it more efficient? I don't know. Or maybe you could just have them pull double duty. Or something. I really hope that I don't do deco on this too soon. Brought you here then. Yeah, I seem to recall that this doesn't actually change the top speed of this uh, very much at all. Or maybe it just uses too much power. I don't quite remember. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't really improve the top speed much. We're now going... Yep, picture... It's like, okay, that's still working. That's why I did that. So we're going... Yeah, not much faster, but we're using a huge amount of power. So whatever I did there, it was not good enough. Not good enough at all. Hmm. So, testing against a plunderer for two reasons. Uh, firstly, torpedo poppers. I want to make sure they're doing a decent enough job. Uh, secondly, uh, crams are... Uh, against big things like this, is like, how well does it survive uh, getting hit in the head uh, with cram cannons? Right now, not particularly well. It does have multiple layers of uh, reinforced wood armor, but yeah, especially on the sides there, it just blows straight through it, so this is a big a lump of slightly reinforced cardboard, which is less than ideal, let's be honest. Yeah, so once I'm done with the uh, uh, wood canoe neater uh, stream series, like, um, I think I'll be good uh, for satisfying my uh, woodcraft addiction for a long time. Oh, yep, spamming Control Z. Do like that. There's something fun about that. It's just like, if I could turn back time. Well, I can. Honestly, like, how did we survive uh, in the days before Control Z? So much time. So much time needed. Not wasted, because. Hope we all had fun doing it. But yeah. So now, what are you up to? What are you up to, passporter wise? What are you up to? Alright, that's what I'm up to. Uh, putting some actual extra armor there. Uh, with those parts that are, let's face it, they're just wood. They're just wood, and that's no good. 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 I'm not sure why I was chanting that. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're compartmentalizing. Okay. 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 I'll play your game, you rogue. Man, I've just made myself hungry. Damn it. I am now hungry, hungry. I have no right to be. I have no right to be hungry. I just ate a thing. I don't want to pause this recording and go eat something. That's dumb. Fill up on water. Quick. Where's me bottle? I'm not sure if you heard that, but I'm just chugging water. So instead of being hungry, well, I'll still be hungry, but I won't be thirsty, and I'll be racing, um, I'll be racing, <laughs> I'll be racing off to take a pee very so shortly. Oh boy. So this is probably uh, one of the, this is the point of the video, well, I once again would remind everybody that planning ahead is a very good idea. Uh, because I should have done this earlier, uh, back when I was uh, just making one end of the craft. It's just layering your armor properly, because, um... Up armoring is, um... Well, I don't know. You can see that it's kind of, it's kind of messy and irritating. I'm having to go into this thing's guts, figure out what, um... What areas are thin and kind of patch them. And admittedly, this is reinforced wood, which isn't going to make a huge amount of difference anyway. Because uh, reinforced wood is reinforced, but it's still wood. And while I'm pointing out the bleedingly obvious, I'm gonna clap my hands right now. Applaud past borderwise for I don't know. You can choose whatever you want to applaud past borderwise for. Applaud him for I don't know. I'm present borderwise. Like I'm the last person you should ask uh, for applauding. Uh, passport wise I don't know. I don't know that guy. I've never met him. Like, he's always gone by the time I get here. 
So yeah. And now, now alright, brace yourself, incoming philosophy. Every stage of you, and every stage of life, time-wise, is a slightly different person. So would you like you if you met you? Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, gonna leave you to think about that for a hot second. Oh uh, boy, you know, um... While you think about that, Passport Wise is gonna go and do the exact same thing he just did on the other end of the craft. Really should have, uh... You really should have planned ahead, mate. You really should have planned ahead. Should have had the Varby on the weekend. Not entirely sure why I went Australian there. If you can call that Australian. Shout out to everybody watching who's uh, in Australia. I hope you're doing well. As well as you can be, uh, considering current events. Armoring, 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 armoring. Armoring, armoring. Hey, if you want to get engaged to a... Uh, to someone who likes uh, riding around in like full plate armor, uh, the ring uh, you give them as an engagement ring, it's an armor ring. <laughs> oh my goodness, someone, someone slapped me through the internet for that joke. I'm losing my mind a little bit. Yeah, fun, fun story. And like, I guess this is one of the things that's funny in hindsight. Uh, my phone charging cable. A USB-C thing, because I've got an Android phone. That's right, I don't do the iPod. I mean, the iP iPad, iPhone. Wow, I sound like an old person. Are you kids in your i... i... lily pads? So yeah, that thing is uh, literally held together with sticky tape and is uh, getting to be slightly old. So, I did a stupid thing. I went out... Uh, well, firstly, I googled the local uh, PC store because I always prefer to get things in person so I can see them. Uh, you mentioned... I mentioned earlier that uh, where I'm at isn't currently in lockdown. And Google lied to me. It said in-person shopping was a thing, and I foolishly believed it out of naive optimism. Walked all the way over there. Uh, their in-person shopping is online purchase collecting, basically. So I thought, damn it. So now, like a uh, like everyone else, I've ordered the darn cable uh, online, and I'm going to be waiting for it, and hopefully it's the correct one, because that's always the problem with online anything, is that uh, what you buy isn't necessarily what you want, so to speak. Uh, boy. I'm not sure how I got to uh, that from Armoran, but uh, yeah. Imagine... That was, see, people have asked me if I would uh, do a campaign uh, playthrough um, with, like, a user-submitted craft, and I would like to. Um, I'm not in any rush, mostly because in Front of the Depths, uh, there's so many different uh, things you can do content-wise. I could play this game uh, forever. Like, I might get sick of it before then, but um, the number of... the amount of stuff you can potentially do is almost endless. It's just, you can do so much different kinds of stuff and spin-offs of it. By the way, I don't think I've ever asked this. Um, I've recently managed to get Skyrim Special Edition uh, working uh, somewhat uh, stably uh, with my mod uh, load order uh, on it, and who, is there anyone in the audience who would like to see me do a Skyrim Hardcore uh, series, or just one-off or something like that, because I think that could be great fun. Simply because, um, again, I don't know, Skyrim is one of those games you can play it in so many different ways, and particularly uh, the amount of mods uh, that you can download can really spice things up, even though I'm kind of, I freely admit, I'm kind of boring in uh, what I like uh, to mod Skyrim with. I don't like wacky mods because, um, you know, like the infamous ones like, uh, t like turning the dragons into Thomas the Tank Engine or ponies from My Little Pony, stuff like that. That's funny for all of five minutes and then it's like, nah, you can't play the whole game like that. That's just weird. 
But yeah, so I've got mods that uh, make the armors uh, more realistic and stuff like that. I even made mods for um, Aldrum uh, back in the day. Not very complicated ones, just uh, the kind of things that you can do easily with the creation kit. But yeah. Anyway, just a thought, and if no one uh, if no one wants it, that's fine, doesn't need to happen. I don't need to put every video game I play up on the YouTube channel. There's no obligation, like the stove hob, or the hobbit, which have seven meals a day. Oh no, I thought about food! This is a disaster. Alrighty, so, uh, are you done with, um, are you done being a silly boy, fastball wise Are you done up armor? Nope, nope. Oh boy, this is the engine and up armoring thing. I hope whoever's watching this has got it as background noise while they build something else. Or, I don't know, while they... What? What? There's not many situations, actually, where... Well, if you're working at a computer, then you can have YouTube videos for background noise and all that stuff, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, I've tried exercising with YouTube music in the background, but I'm always terrified of, like, putting uh, my equipment, um, like through my monitor if I drop it, like... It's like, and I guarantee you what you're picturing right now, exercise equipment-wise, is not what you think. Reach over, like... I don't know. You won't be able to see it. Ah, okay. Ah. So, this thing... Um... Alright, what I want you to picture is a cylindrical lump of cement on a stick. That's my free weight. <laughs> it's the dirt-cheap version. I don't have proper dumbbells. Uh, because it's actually a traditional uh, Okinawan karate training tool. It's called a Chi-Ishi. Yes, I do karate. And, um... Oh, lockdown sucks because I can't do karate. But, um... Yeah, this is what I use um, sometimes for exercise. You can't overdo it. But yeah, it's not as good as a dumbbell for the, everything you would use a dumbbell for before you get any ideas. It also, um... Since it's just made... It's literally a cement block. It does, um flake off a little bit. There's always like little bits of uh, cement crumbs uh, flaking off the top of it because the bottom is perfectly smooth. Like, not sure if you can hear that. So that's the that's the bottom. This is the top. Not sure if that sounded any differently to be perfectly honest. What's happening on screen again? I'm just holding this thing now. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Canoe's moving. Canoe's moving and um... I think pitch control is working, which is very nice. Yes, save the thingy. What's it called again? Octagon Party Canoe. By the way, the party is referring to the fact that... Where the hell did that, um... Uh, come from? Uh, party Mix, I believe, is the, uh... Is the term for it. Uh... My buddy Blarant. Well, that's where I learned the term from is um, just, um, it's basically a gun that fires a combination of shells. And funny thing about the Trondheim, I think it's, uh, yeah, this is me inspecting the damage, it does absolutely fine, and the damage to the Trondheim is doing very well, because, um, I think none of those shells are actually very good, they're just big. They're just, they manage to do damage because they're big. And that's basically it. And... Yeah, what this is, what this test you're seeing right now is just damage testing. It's like, oh my giddy on fanny. This thing is made of cardboard, and that's no good. That is kind of the problem uh, with making big, mostly hollow things with thin armor. When they take damage, they really take damage. So yeah. Thankfully, we're giving as good as we get. And that's very nice. But yeah, this is the point where I had a look at this and thinking like, yeah, I really do need good active defenses, like really good. This thing is a joy to watch fight, though. This is essentially like, um... Yeah, I think it's like eight guns in there, eight battleship level guns. It's like... It's like something like the Bismarck, but with just one turret, which means it can... This is actually, um... One of the reasons I like making these kind of canoe monitors is because, um, yeah, they're broadsiders, but they, you can convert them into frontsiders fairly easily, not that I make a habit of that. And also, it means that it can point 100% of its main armament in pretty much a 360 degree uh, radius, which is very handy because, um, 
I intend to assume that um, my ships get caught out of position all the time, so... And that might be... It's funny how one part of your building style influ influences and uh, uh, Just dropping my concrete block on the floor, don't mind me. Is, uh, okay, so... I like to build long, narrow ships that generally don't turn well because, you know, drag. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Oh, that's what I'm do- Is it what I'm doing? What are you doing? Oh, roll! That's what I'm doing! It took me a second to figure out what past me was doing. That's weird. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, another reason why combat test is uh, handy, is so you can see what on earth your, um, how your craft moves. So in this particular case, I noticed uh, my canoe is rolling around a fair amount. I actually do like that um, I'm getting in the habit now of, like, there is a brief period uh, for a lot of people, myself included, where you're relying a lot on up props. Uh, so, basically, relying on propellers to keep your uh, craft... Jeez, this thing is material inefficient. It's eating resources like no one's business. But it is a freaking huge thing with uh, big hungry propellers, so... Yeah. Really should swap out the injector engines for something else. Or rather, not that. I think... I think five videos uh, showcasing this thing being built. I think I'm done with it. Pretty much. But uh, I think next large ship I build, I really, really should try and figure out, um... Well, not figure out, but get back in the habit of using... What do you call it? Of using... Uh, brain not working very well. Low blood sugar. Uh, I need to get back in the habit of using, uh, just uh, carburetor-based engines. In particular, using turbochargers. Because they're way more efficient, and they're still pretty darn powerful. You get that. Or steam engines. Or steam engines. So it's interesting, like, um, I've been mucking around with steam engines a bit. And it's like, one of the main things with steam, and this is something that um, I've been told, basically, is that recycling your steam is a very good idea. And so if you're wondering what past me is doing on the screen right now, uh, it is lamb's time. It is Baba Black Sheep uh, Fry and Coming Shell's time. So yeah, it's like, whatever thing I've noticed with steam engines is that, um, well not notice, it's just, you gotta recycle the steam. Those steam pistons uh, have uh, an input and an output for good reason. And so you can kind of get just a little bit of bonus power, so to speak, if you just um, recycle that steam. And uh, you can do that pretty successfully, like, um, it's interesting, like really gotta... Actually, I just had a thought, and I need to go try this out uh, once I've finished recording this. Because you can... It's like you... Mm. Yeah, nope, nope, I'm not going to talk about Steam. I don't trust myself. I'll say something stupid. And then the internet will laugh at me. And then I'll be very sad. And then I'll cry on the internet. And then the internet will laugh at me some more. And that's terrible. That's jolly terrible. It'll make me sad. So yeah, now, oh, the lamb system. Oh, the lambs, the lambs. That's, lambs are really something that you need to think of ahead of time. Which thankfully I did. I knew from the beginning that this thing would have lambs. And you see what I'm doing now, that I feel is kind of a helpful thing to do, is work out where the lamb, where the nodes are going to be first, and then, like, you build the lambs after that, because if you do it the other way around, you might think, oh, damn it, how do the transmitters get from A to B? This is me doing the math saying is like, what are you doing? Alrighty, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? That's weird. What I just did, uh, if you had no idea what I was thinking there, uh, neither do I. Past me is being mysterious again. Or just forgetful. I mean, that's the... What the hell are you doing, dude? Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. What the hell? What the hell? I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. From the past. Uh, 
That's a weird... Okay, now I see what I'm doing. Uh, this lambs is a little bit better than what I usually end up doing. Um, are you doing a Q switch? You mad lad. Don't do it. Don't do it, laddie. You'll regret it. I'm just watching now. Like, I want to see... Like, I really need to remember stuff. What are you doing? Okay, right there I was counting how many blocks I'm gonna go with. One? One. That's one. Okay, now that's zero. One, two, three, four. Ah, darn it. I wasn't ready. Can you go back? Alright, so... What is that? 50% uh, storage, 50% power. Thankfully, yeah, you can shuffle that around a little bit more. I keep forgetting what the exact good ratio for lambs is. Uh, people have told me, in no uncertain terms, I legitimate it does not stick in my brain. So which means that every time I make a lambs, which I don't actually do very often, I've made some, uh, I've made some pretty, I've made some decent lambs uh, in my time, but I don't touch them often. Like when I play from the depths, like I prefer to see how far I can get uh, without using them. I'm not sure why. It's partially, it's partially because um, I don't tend to plan on my builds ahead of time, which is a dumb thing to do. You absolutely should do that, particularly if you're uh, at all serious about it being good. Okay, so yeah, yeah. All right, so that's decently big. Man. You'll notice there's redundancy here, like um, uh, you've got one, two lambs, and they've, they're feeding separate nodes. It means that if something uh, overshoots and is being fried on the other side, it means that um, the uh, the lambs on one side isn't wasting its time. That's the idea. That is the idea. Okay, what are you doing now? You're putting, you're putting nodes in. Are you putting nodes in? Yeah, and now the problem is... The problem is that uh, the turret, and this is why superstructure is actually a very good idea, it stops the things uh, colliding with each other. So these nodes are good, just misses. That's a huge turret. Like, easy to forget sometimes just how big that turret is. This thing is a lot bigger than it looks. It looks smaller than it actually is. You put this next to something like, uh, I don't know, I think this thing's, I think she's just thick. As the kids say, thick with two C's. Actually, it's not just the kids who say that. It's uh, kids aged, um, I don't know, aged 10 to 80? No, not 10 to 80. 80 is too old. That's too old. That's too old a kid to say thick. Aged, aged 10 to 40? I have no idea what age people, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so now we've got a problem because this thing really can't stick too far up because otherwise it'll catch the barrels. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even gonna work. I do remember this. I do remember this. You're using alloy, you cheaty zod. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that. Yep, and there the gun gets caught, and this is the point where past me decides, nah, okay, no, you can't do that. You can't do that, you have all this deck to work with. So much deck. <sighs> and if you misheard me just now, that's your fault. I didn't do that on purpose. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, I would never do such a thing. I would never. Alright, now, so now the fun bit is uh, figuring out where the hell to stick stuff. Oh dear. Right. Yeah. right. I'm trying to remember what I did here. I'm trying to remember what I did. Yeah, I've had this problem before. It's just, yeah, that's gonna poke out uh, beneath the waterline, which is no bueno. We want. We want. Uh, we want mucho bueno, we want me gusta, we don't want uh, no bueno. Did I mention I failed uh, my Spanish classes in uh, high school? Because I failed my Spanish classes in high school. Uh, language is not my strong point. I can barely handle English uh, on a good day. 
And uh, yeah, I've tried. I've tried. I've tried learning Mandarin Chinese, and I've tried to learn. Uh, and I'm learning uh, New Zealand Maori, which is arguably not the most uh, useful language in the world uh, to learn on, like you know, from a practical standpoint, because it's only spoken here. And pretty much everyone here who speaks uh, Maori also is fluent in English. So yeah, it's like, um, hmm, hmm, like what is your plan? The plan is uh, basically, uh, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, language is very hard. Also, I'm no spring chicken. Or I'm, oh no, I don't know, I'm a reasonably spring chicken. Don't do that thing. Every time I say like, I'm so old, um... People in the comments are saying, like, bro, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop complaining. And I'm like, okay, 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 you're right. I'll stop complaining. But yeah, I'm definitely past the age where learning a language comes naturally and easily. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And really, in order to learn a new language from scratch, you need incentive. So I would need to go find a place where they speak nothing but Maori and uh, just live there for years for it to actually stick. Same with Chinese. I stopped learning Mandarin Chinese mostly because I was using Duolingo for that. And Duolingo is not very good uh, for learning Mandarin. At least I don't feel so. I didn't feel like I was learning anything uh, with them. It was, just wasn't sticking. Uh, yes, Surge Protectors. Surge Protector. Yes? What are you doing? What is your plan? What is your purpose? Alrighty, so we've got half the lambs, and I think next time uh, the other half get put in. I don't recall... I definitely put the other half of the lambs in. Alright, so here's the part where... Yep, fire through smoke, because we've got enough AP to do that. Range below with to engage is 150. I like 150 of range for lambs, because it's far enough away so it can zap a lot of things. Uh, but close enough so it does full damage and doesn't waste power, which is nice. And yeah, above water only is the best idea. Is the best idea. Are you going to change the color? No, you're not. Apparently, no, you're going to save the thingy. That's a good idea. And turn that off. And you want to spawn in. What are you going to spawn in? Speak to me. Spawn in a Trondheim. Yeah, it's amazing just the addition of just a, a little bit of active defense can make. Because, yeah, it's just um, lots of shells. Brrr, bang. Bang, 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 away they go. And even the missiles. Yeah. These are fairly strong lambs. And the great news is that top one on the other side uh, can zap a lot of things. Yep, 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 yep. This is actually, I remember being surprised by this. It was a lot better than I expected. So yeah, just with that, um, just half of the lambs it uh, eventually ends up with, it um, actually successfully managed to take out not only the uh, the cram volley, but also the missile barrage uh, from the Trondheim. The Trondheim isn't an especially scary craft. Um, yeah, and those crams aren't particularly big. Uh, the Trondheim... Uh, Design-wise, I think, um, yeah, it's very much. Um, well, I mean, it's like none of the faction craft are like you can say are 100% meta. Uh, but triple crams, uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. They're not as good as just single, more powerful crams, especially when it comes to getting through anti-munition defense. So, yeah. At this point, I'm just got completely distracted by watching. Uh, the lamb is just pop incoming shells like they're nothing. I will admit, in the past I have hated lambs for their ability to do exactly what is happening right now. It's a lot more fun if the lambs is yours and uh, the shells being popped are the enemies. It's way more satisfying. Have to say. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it really. Like here, like, you know, progress is being made. Like I said, this thing is already... Um, Proven its worth, um, very much so, in the campaign series I'm currently doing on Twitch. So remember, I have a Twitch channel, and you should totally go um, follow on Twitch and watch my stuff. So, a few more videos showing the making of this, and then we can move on with our lives to bigger and better canoes. 
So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's build. Farewell.